Today we're going to understand how we can use Adobe Animate CC to create various applications for different purposes, for example, presenting hyperlinks for network drives and different folders. So let's quickly jump into Animate CC and let's see how we can do that. Once you have the application open, you can click on Air for Desktop because we're going to create a desktop application. This will open a new blank document which has a default size of 550 by 400 pixels. I choose to resize it to 800 by 600 pixels. And then let's quickly jump to text tool in the toolbar and type in some text. You can select all the text by pressing Ctrl A or Command A on your keyboard and type in the link URL in the link section in the properties panel. I will do the same for second drive as well. I will select all the text and put in the address for the network drive 2 in the link section here. Once you've done that, you can choose to save the project so that you can customize it further in coming future. I will name it as links project. After that, I would need to ensure that all the settings are correct before I hit publish. So I will go to publish settings in the file menu. In publish settings, I leave flash SWF turned on and I'll click on the folder button to ensure it's sending to the right destination. And I'll name the file as links application. And once you do that, you can press OK. And then you can go back again and hit publish. For the very first time, it's going to ask you to create a signing certificate. Since I'm not going to publish this application on any of the app stores, so I can create a signing certificate for myself. Once you hit create and type in your name and company unit and then organization name and then you can choose your country code and type in a password of your choice. And once you do that, you can choose a destination for the certificate as well. So I will name this as links certificate and say OK. It will give you a prompt that the signing certificate has been created and it will ask for the confirmation password again. I'll turn off the timestamp because I don't need any timestamp. Before I press OK, I will go back to General tab which is the first tab in Air Settings and I'll ensure that I have applications with runtime embedded selected. So what it really does, it creates an .exe file for you and this .exe file can run directly by double clicking on it and you do not have to install the application before you can start using it. So that's handy. And then I can say OK and it gives you a prompt that there will be no time stamping which is alright. And finally I can go File, Publish and it will start publishing for me. Once I get this prompt that, that the application has been created, I can go back to the destination folder which is links to network and then I will go to the links application.app and I will find my exe file sitting in there. I can simply double click here to open my application and I will simply minimize the rest of the application to show how does this application look like. So this is my application. I can click on the network drive 1 to open my first drive or folder now you will see though these folders are local folders and not the network drives but it's going to work in the same manner for the network drives as well and I'll click on the second one to open the network drive 2 folder. So this is how you can create your application in Animate CC. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.